So in our project community this morning, Grand Gents. It's a mentorship and entertainment organization. And for young men, they're learning the gentleman's lifestyle, culture, and fashion while highlighting the greatness of men. So joining me live in studio this morning is co-founder Corey Akers and creative director Daquan Cooper. Gentlemen, thank you so much for joining me this morning. Good morning, for Jason. Us. Yeah, you guys are doing great work in, in, in the community. Let's talk thank about you. that. Grand Gents, how'd you guys come up with the idea and what is your organization all about? Okay, so a few years ago, me and my co-founder, John Trey Trailer, were wondering how we could make an impact in the community. What can we do to uplift and encourage young men in the community? And at this time, there was a lot of, there was a lot of turmoil in the, in, the, in, in, the, in the country going on with young men of color. Right. So we really just wanted to do something to, to, to make young men of color feel proud and, and, and encouraged. Mm -hmm. So that's what the idea came up with. We, uh, we love fashion and we also, you know, we wanted to just say, Words of, words of encouragement to young men every, as, as often as we can, you know, because a, a lot of times they don't get that in the community. All they hear is negative things and we just want to reinforce them with positivity. Yeah, those positive portrayals that you don't sometimes get when it comes to TV, when it comes to stories that are out there. Mm -hmm. um, how important, you mentioned fashion. Everybody, mm -hmm. when you guys walk into the studio this morning, everybody <laughs> notice how you guys are dressed. These guys are fresh, as you can see. Uh, how important is the fashion aspect of this? It is very important, Jason. Mm -hmm. You know, we, um, we consider representation in, in terms of us we that that's very very important to us right. so it, it's it's very important we tell we tell kids that we work with all the time that people are going to judge you how you look regardless if they know you're not right so you might as well look your best you know and as gentlemen we understand that clothes aren't everything you're not going to be, be able to wear a tie every day you know but it's more so about how you carry yourself you know you dress sharp you're going to feel you're just going to feel good about yourself. You know, you put on a suit, it's like putting on a, a, a Superman's cape or something. You know what I mean? You just feel empowered. So, we, you know, we like to reinforce that. Right, right. You look good, you feel good. I feel empowered sitting next to you guys <laughs> uh, this morning, way, the way you're dressed. Uh, talk about the mentorship aspect, having those positive uh, uh, role models, those positive figures mm -hmm. to look up to. How important is that for your organization? That's really what it's all about, Jason. Mm -hmm. I mean, to us, like I said, the encouragement, the uplifting of young men in our community, is the most important thing. I remember I, I was at church one time, and um, when I left, uh, one of the girls in the choir said, man, you don't, you don't realize it, but some of the kids in the, in the youth, they really look up to you. You come in, you look sharp all the time, you carry yourself well. And so that's really what, what keeps us going. That's, that's our whole purpose. So we, we like to do things in the community, like go to tie days at elementary schools, teach mm -hmm. kids how to tie ties. Mm -hmm. You know, sometimes, you know, these kids are like six years old. They might forget how to tie the tie, but it's about the connection that you make with them, you know, like letting them know that they have somebody in their corner, that they have somebody that, that cares about them, to teach them these things. And, um, you know, obviously, honestly, with mentorship, it's like anybody who needs, our, needs us in the community, we're, we want to have a, you know, a opening hand for them. Mm -hmm. um, we, we're partnering with the Douglas Recreation Center to have a boys' night this summer. So, every, we haven't chosen a day yet, but okay. during the evenings, you know, we're going to take guys on field trips, have pizza nights, video game nights, so things like this. Whatever we can do to help in the community, that's what we want to do. Any other community projects? What, what else are you guys working on right now? So we actually, um, representation in the media is very important to mm -hmm. us. We, we like to call it positive propaganda. We like to put young people of color in front of cameras as often as we can. So we actually started our own film production company. So yes, sir. Yeah. So we start our own film production company by the name of Mad Dream Cinema. Okay. And you know, one of the best things about Mad Dream Cinema is we're all 100% Oklahoma made. You know, we do everything from the cast, the crew, the locations in which we film, all 100% Oklahoma. And that's something that we're very proud of. And um, yeah, that's that's a it's a great grassroots project. You know, yes, taking sir. kids and and uh, and those resources from Oklahoma and, and using them for sure. I want to talk about the scholarship because okay. this is a big deal coming up here. Uh, you guys are offering a scholarship to uh, one uh, youth here in, in Oklahoma. Talk about that and what people have to do to enter oh. if they want to recommend somebody. Yes, sir. Well, it's not just one, Jason. Okay. Not just one. We are giving out at least at least three. Oh, at least three. Okay, so, I thought it was one. There yeah. we go. So the scholarship is called the Man of the Year Award, right? It's for kids in Oklahoma City Public Schools. I'm a product of Oklahoma City Public Schools. He is mm -hmm. too. We actually, we graduated from uh, Edmond High School, but in middle school and elementary, we went to Oklahoma City Public Schools and we see the need that these kids have for some encouragement and reinforcement. So what we want to do is, um, the scholarship's uh, designed for a senior in high school who's attending a college or a university mm -hmm. um, in the fall. Uh, it's gonna be at least $500 and a tailored suit 
from the wardrobe modern menswear. Um, we're doing several events to, we've done several events to raise money for it, but we have an event coming up on June 2nd. It's a part of the Guap Fest weekend uh, with our friend uh, GQ. Okay. It's gonna be called Culture and Cocktails. It's gonna be a live music and art show. Um, local live musicians and artists were gonna come perform. And mm -hmm. after that, we're gonna have a day party to just celebrate. So um, it's gonna be a wonderful event and all the proceeds are gonna go straight back to the scholarship. Okay, excellent. So $500 and that suit. And as and you suit. heard, the fashion, looking good, feeling good, very important. Exactly. So, especially as they're starting out and getting into college. So really quick, oh, just a few seconds here. Uh, if, they want, if people want more information, where should they go? Grandgentleman.com slash scholarship. Okay, excellent. Corey, Thank you so much. Thank you, Jason. We appreciate it. Thank you for yes, all sir. the work you're doing in the community as Thank well. Thank you.